As soon as the European session started, the euro and the pound sterling went down almost immediately amid growing concerns over lifting of restrictions in the United Kingdom. Initially, coronavirus restrictions were set to be lifted on June 21st. However, rising cases prompted the government to announce a delay until 19 July. A sharp increase in COVID-19 cases in the UK cast doubt on more lockdown easing. Therefore, coronavirus restrictions could linger beyond the already delayed July 19 and the date. Moreover, businesses in the UK expect the government to give more details on the legal side of the issue. All restrictive measures are currently based on the orders and decrees of the UK government. However, when restrictions are lifted, all these decisions will be overruled, which means they will be substituted with some kind of recommendations. Businesses simply do not comprehend who will bear legal responsibility. They fear that this will lead to an uncontrolled increase in costs and subsequent bankruptcies. However, the government has not commented uh, on this issue so far. As a result, the pound sterling came under pressure and uh, incurred losses. A bit later, the euro followed suit. Likewise, uh, the euro went down amid a plunge in retail sales to 9% from 23.3% in the eurozone. The region had been expected to decline to 10.5%. All in all, the low base effect still has an impact uh, on the results. On a monthly basis, retail sales surged by 4.6%, beating market expectations of a 3.7% rise. Anyway, due to the low base effect, the results can be regarded as misleading. In fact, market participants did not expect the figures to have any impact on the euro. Amid the general strengthening of the greenback, the euro and the pound sterling lost support immediately after the publication of business activity data in the United States. Nevertheless, both the euro and the pound sterling still have a chance to go up. Yesterday, the US market was closed in honor of Independence Day, and that's why final PMI reports in the United States are set to be published only today. Judging from the preliminary estimates, business activity in the services sector should drop to 64.8 points. Meanwhile, the composite index is likely to fall to 63.9 points. Even if the services PMI comes in line with the flash results, the composite index will still drop sharply because of a weaker than expected final manufacturing PMI. The euro USD pair went up from the support level of 1.18, which led to the strengthening of the euro by 0.7%. The price pulled back afterwards. According to the current chart, we can see that the quote is still within the 1.1835 and 1.1890 range as the day before. Long positions can be considered above 1.1900, allowing an increase in the price to 1.1950. Meanwhile, short positions can be considered below 1.1830, allowing a fall in price to 1.1800. In order to enter the market uh, at the moment of the main movement, the borders of the stagnation zone with a small deviation are uh, taken into account. Likewise, GBP USD is moving up from the pivot point of 1.3730. The pound sterling has gained 1.2%. Based on the current shop, we can notice a bullish impulse during the Asian Pacific session, which led to a breakout of the high as of June 30. The quote failed to consolidate above 1.3900, which indicates speculative interest. In case of a bearish trend, short positions can be considered if the price consolidates below 1.3835. And that's all for now. We keep monitoring the financial market situation. Subscribe to our channel and see you in several hours. We will take a close look at the US trading session.